Let's take a closer look at the 7th beta of iOS 17 and what it may reveal about the upcoming iPhone 15 series. Welcome everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and thank you for joining me in this video. I'm gonna walk you through all of the changes found in the seventh beta of iOS 17. I'm also gonna talk about what the ramifications are for iPhone 15 series and when we can expect an RC and release of iOS 17. Let's go ahead and dive into it. For me, running the developer beta of iOS 17 on my iPhone 14 Pro, this update clocked in just below 700 megabytes. It's not the biggest or the smallest update that we've found, though I'm sure Apple's fixing a lot of bugs as we approach release. Here we are, my iPhone 14 Pro running the seventh beta of iOS 17. One of the first changes has to do with the mute toggle. With this beta, Apple has returned haptic feedback when you are enabling silent mode versus when you turn it off. So now when I turn this on, I turn on silent mode, muting my phone, there's haptic feedback going on, kind of like a series of small taps. It's like tap, tap, tap. So it only happens when silent mode is enabled. So right now, nothing. Now it's tapping. If I turn the switch back the other direction, nothing happens there. So when audio is on, there's no feedback. When I'm turning audio off, it will tap you. It is possible that this new haptic feedback is designed for the new action button, arriving on the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Ultra. The new action button will replace the mute toggle and allow you to customize it with a variety of di different actions. Could be for toggling mute on and off, it could be for running a shortcut, it could be for adjusting screen brightness, whatever you want to change this little action button to be similar to on the Apple Watch Ultra. But basically Apple adding this haptic feedback makes it more understandable when a phone is going from silent mode to audio mode, especially if there was a button added into Control Center. Another change that I've spotted is during a phone call. With the last beta, the end button was moved to the center when you were calling somebody. But when you enabled the keypad, the button was still located on the far right hand side. With this beta, as you can see, Apple was updated. Now the end button is right back in the center and the high keypad button is on the right hand side. So no matter where you are in a call, whether you are on the main screen or on the keypad screen, the end call button will be located in the middle. So will this be the last beta of iOS 17? I can basically guarantee that it won't be. Things are much more polished now and Apple is making fewer changes beta to beta, which is what we'd expect as we approach release. But the thing is, Apple has a pretty cut and dry history of its major milestone updates and the beta process. If we look at previous timelines for iOS 16, iOS 15, iOS 14, and iOS 13, Apple always included eight betas before an RC. That's exactly what I expect here with iOS 17 as well. Currently, we are on the seventh beta, so I expect that we will see one more final, maybe longer beta before we get a release candidate. The release candidate will likely be announced after Apple's September event. Right now, rumors point to a September 12th event where the iPhone 15 series will be unveiled. If Apple unveils the iPhone 15 on September 12th, that is when we should get the RC. Apple strips out a lot of code from iOS betas because they reveal information on the new devices. So when Apple releases the RC post event, it'll include things like the information for the action button, the naming scheme for the new devices, anything special they have that other phones don't have, maybe a new special effects for the dynamic island with the larger bezels or the smaller bezels, all of that kind of stuff will be included with the RC version of iOS 17. So expect the RC coming on around September 12th as soon as Apple finishes its event and we'll see a release about a week or so later. Assuming Apple holds its event on September 12th, I would say that we should get the full release of iOS 17 the following Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday ahead of the phones being released to everybody on the 22nd. So what do you think? Did you spy any other changes in iOS 17 beta 7? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I have a lot more coverage coming your way.